Welcome to the amazing Manage Comics demo. Let's get right into things. We're gonna start off real quick with the customer interface. So this is what your customers will see when they come to your website. Uh, there'll be a subscriptions area now, which is where all the Manage Comics magic happens. Now this area is all powered by us, by Manage Comics. Um, so you don't have to maintain any of the publishers or descriptions or any of that stuff. It all happens. So this customer is going through Boom Studios and he's gonna, of course, probably wanna subscribe to Berserker because who doesn't? Uh, so he can see the next issues that are coming up um, or the um, individual issues. So this person is going to subscribe to the cover B and uh, maybe pre-order the cover A. And I guess they're also probably gonna pre-order a one in 25 variant. No, one, one in 250 or 150, sorry. Um, so from there, they're gonna see some things like that their orders for the uh, two cover variants are pending. Now from my subscriptions, of course, the customer can also click on Action Comics, for example, and modify their subscription. So maybe they wanna, I don't know, take a look at the upcoming issues or the upcoming covers. Um, they can definitely do that. And if they decide they're gonna cancel um, Action Comics, uh, they'll get a warning that says, are you sure you wanna do it? But they have to cancel within the FOC window. Now as an admin, you can still edit that, but um, this, this will just ensure you don't get stuck with stuff. Of course, they also see any outstanding orders that they have uh, pulled recently. Um, there's a bunch of different ways that you can kind of subdivide the information. So when you're going into the November 2021 listings, you can also go down to individual publishers. Um, you can take a look at things by type. So maybe I want to see comics and I just want to see the comics from a specific publisher. Or if I want to take a look at graphic novels and I only want to see the Archie graphic novels, let's say. Um, so if I scroll down here to the Archie comics, I'll just see anything from Archie. Of course, browsing by type, I can take a look at clothing and, and just see what kind of apparel is available. Uh, this, this right now shows you kind of everything, so you'll see it all the different variations of a clothing item. Uh, we can also take a look at novels, and the browse by type is entirely configurable by you on the back end, so you can change that however you want. Um, we can look at things by release date, and when we get to release date, uh, you're going to see that somebody can't just subscribe to something that's on the release date. So for example, this uh, Marvel Masterworks is out this week. It's no longer, longer available for pre-order, but you could still subscribe to that product. Now on FOCs, you can still pre-order or subscribe to uh, something that's on an FOC. Um, if I go ahead and subscribe to this item, I can uh, can get all of the upcoming um, Spider Amazing Spider-Man Beyond titles as they come out. And of course we have a full functioning search. So if somebody wants to find, their, they don't, we only find them when they're dead, easy for me to say. Um, very, very simple for them to go ahead and subscribe to a title like that. Now the pre-order approval process ensures that you don't get stuck with things and that customers can get the things that they've ordered. Um, so right out of the gate, you're gonna notice on the customer activity screen, which is the first thing you see, you're gonna see anything that has been recently pre-ordered. So now you can just go ahead and approve something like uh, Berserker, um, or if you need to do some finagling, let's say that the B cover is a special variant and you have to charge a little more for it, I'm gonna go ahead and say $5 and I'm gonna do discount exempt. And then I'll just have to type in a note, just saying uh, this is a premium cover, uh, $5, uh, no discount and then I just send that to the customer now on the front end This is where this is interesting. This will actually show up for the customer When I log into my subscriptions, I take a look at my subscriptions and there's my pre-order and it says their Premium cover five dollar no discount so I can accept or deny that at that point because kind of the price has changed I didn't really know what the price was going to be before but I'm gonna go ahead and accept it as a customer so this gives you a really, really quick and easy look as a customer at which things you've 
pre-order which is, have been accepted. Um, at the top you see the things that have been declined if something gets declined. And uh, yeah, that's a quick, quick view for you. Let's talk managing customers now. So I'm on my customer list here, which is under customers, and I can go ahead and edit a existing subscription. So let's say I wanna end it uh, so I can do a final poll, or if I just wanna straight up delete it, I can get rid of that off there. The difference is that last ride number seven will continue to be pulled until number seven is out. Um, but if I wanna add a subscription, let's say I'm gonna look for Legion, uh, and I'll do a search and I can see Justice League versus the Legion is down here so I can go ahead and subscribe the customer to that or if I want to pre-order a specific cover uh, and make the discount exempt I can do that and that kind of bypasses the whole approval process of the uh, pre-order system uh, from here we can go ahead and edit pre-orders so if there's a, a specific pre-order I need to edit uh, I can get in there and, and make changes to things like that as well so yeah overall you've got a lot of control over your customer things including changing the start date of when something um, like let's say that somebody comes in and says I really want to get next week's book you can definitely change the start date so that they they qualify for it um, you can also find any of your customers who are in your regular Shopify customer list and then just go ahead and add them as well. Now current customer totals is going to show you everything that is currently available. So this looks at all of the current um, titles that are out and how many issues you need. By looking at customer activity here we can also see um, pre-orders waiting for acceptance or declined pre-orders and customer changes shows you based on a a date range um, what has been changed in lists so it's really really easy for you to get in there and, and find out in the last four days or five days what's changed and then finally uh, the all customers area will show you all of your customers with um, their discounts and so it shows both the standard calculated discount based on your settings which we'll talk about settings later and also any discount that you kind of supersede over top of them maybe they're a super loyal customer or an employee and you have a different uh, discount rate for those folks so you can definitely you know change those and then save that out now let's talk pulls and check-in so the pull system is actually really a check-in system. Um, we're gonna pull in a couple of invoices here. I'll, I'll bring in a diamond invoice and a lunar invoice. I formatted these a little bit so that I would have kind of the results that I want in a demo and I'm not getting any surprises. Um, but you go through and you'll edit all of your quantities. So you basically, you know, check things in and say, okay, Alien, I had five damage copies, zero shortages. Amazing Spider-Man, I had got 63 actual units. Um, two of them were damaged, so five of them were shorted. I go through and do that for everything. Then the next step is to select which titles I'm going to save for subscription. So I go through and yeah, this makes all make sense um, maybe there's one thing like little shop of horrors uh, came in last week so this is a, a reorder and I don't need to pull that so I can go ahead and uncheck that I go through the whole list just like uh, with the last thing and at the end of it I'm gonna find a next button I click next on that this is anything left over that I want to import into my store. So if I want to reserve some stuff behind, um, I wouldn't add that, but otherwise I'll just, you know, leave all of this because this is just going to be the extra things. If I get something like this where, you know, I've got a cover that's missing, um, I can go out and grab a cover. So I, I'm going to actually grab the copy of the image location and I'll paste that in here. And this will go out and fetch that image and add it. And you'll see that the little picture there changed. So um, we can go ahead and do that with all the images. I'm only going to do the one because I'm a bit of a hurry here. Uh, next up, we can also see things that are missing from my invoice. So, so they're on the invoice, but they're not in the database. Now, a lot of this is the Deadpool pewter key ring that, that was probably added kind of later in the in the calendar cycle. Sometimes that stuff gets missed. Um, some of it might be old stock that they've changed the, the URL, the diamond code on. Um, so we just enter all the data in 
Uh, if you put in the U UPC and ISBN code, we're actually going to make it so that that is searchable so that you can just enter the USB code and get any of the data we have in the database. Um, problem right now is we've got, you know, 12 years of data and some of it is kind of conflicting. So, um, but that is a quick way to get the data in so that you can actually add those products as well. And we've got tags here, so I'm going to add a couple tags. I'll add a new release tag for this week. I'm also going to add a custom tag for um, just the test upload so that I can find these things really easily later. This is just kind of for me. Then this is just a review and con confirmation screen. So when we see things that are gold or red, it's just letting us know that there's something different. And finally, this was real time. That's how quickly your, your uh, subscription list will get generated. So this is literally what I need to pull for each one of my customers. The price that's shown over there is exclusive of discounts and everything. So that that's just the, the list price on it. Um, this is the shortages report. So this will actually tell you what you were shorted in a period by publisher. So you'll see, or distributor, I should say, by Diamond and then Lunar and Penguin Random House if you have any. Um, so this is a great way to kind of go back also and review this over time, because uh, this just stays there. So if, if, for example, Batman Noel came out this week, but I didn't get any, um, that lets me know that the next time it comes in, it'll get pulled by the system. So it's just a, a really quick kind of review of those things. Now, this also creates orders. We're gonna change this in the future. So this is kind of a two week stop gap, but right now it creates orders for everyone. Um, and it figures out the, the taxes based on either their location, if it's something that's shipped to them or your location if it's something that is uh, local pickup. Um, like I said, we'll be changing this a little bit because right now these are all custom items and they're not using uh, your actual stock. So we wanna change that so we can do better stock tracking. That'll come out in a couple weeks and I'll just edit this little video to change that, that, uh, <laughs> that little part. Um, let's see. So. In the products now, we're gonna take a look at some of those products. I've got the new release tag in there. I'm gonna pull up uh, the products and let's find our human target that we changed. Uh, I'm just gonna scroll down here, human target. And there we go. It is the C cover, yeah. So I changed this uh, cover and there's the updated cover. This is all the data that you get in there takes a little while for this to come in, but we get everything including cost per item, um, SKU, barcode, all the tags that we've added, uh, and then the vendor and the uh, type of comics. Um, I'm gonna just save this because I, I made a couple changes while I was in there. And then on the front end, you'll see that all your comics are here. And what's cool is that every new title actually has a subscribe to series. So your customers can actually subscribe to the series from the front end as well. And they can pre-order upcoming issues or um, subscribe to the current issue or, or uh, pre-order the current issue if it's before FOC. This one here had an FOC of October 17th. So we're, uh, we're past that FOC now. Um, we also have some ordering uh, kind of helpers, which will help you do both your initial orders and your FOC orders. So for initial orders, it's really simple. We pull up a diamond uh, penguin random house or lunar report, which has all the titles that need to be ordered. There's an export feature, which can uh, let you export it to text. And we also have a CSV download if you wanna just kind of do things with it. FOCs are a little more comfortable complicated, you actually have to upload a file and then uh, calculate, uh, recalculate your quantities. Um, you just push a button after you've, uh, if you if you want to come back to this thing in order to recalculate your current quantities for anything. Um, but this is really, really easy because this file uh, can be uploaded to Diamond. Uh, with Lunar, you have to do some special things because they're, they do um, appending orders. Uh, and same with Penguin Random House. Let's talk about our settings. So our basic settings in the system are uh, pretty easy to use. You can change the colors of your buttons. So your uh, your front end button 
if you know some HTML and, and some hex codes uh, that will come in handy here. You can also click on those things, uh, the select and, and choose a color. Um, if you're Canadian or UK, you're gonna see an exchange rate. We can add the ISBN plus seven. We have terms of service you can change. You can update your uh, discount rates and we have the ability to do tiered discounting based on the number of subscriptions. So not pre-orders, this is subscription exclusive. Um, so if you wanna change any of that, in terms of publishers, you can go ahead and add or remove publishers. Um, if you're having a hard time getting specific publishers, you can remove stuff. You can also change the, um, the distributors based on uh, kind of what we have in the distributor logs. Uh, and as those change, we'll update them on our end. And then finally, you can change types and add or remove things. And so if I've added games here, um, when I go browse by type on the front end, I'm gonna see games now. And so I can go ahead and, and uh, offer games as, a, as another product. And those will all be pre-ordered, so they'll be on the pre-order process. We have really, really exhaustive help and our help is changing and, and improving all the time. So an example would be uh, if you just wanna see kind of how the pre-order process works, you can see this little help page that, that talks about the pre-order process. Um, I'm building a better FAQ all the time. Uh, right now it only has one item, but I'll be constantly adding to the FOQ. Um, and we, we go through and add new features and new uh, new help all the time and, and really want to make sure that it's comprehensive and that it's uh, got everything you need. And then of course, if at any point you need to contact us, there's an entire contact form. Um, you can go ahead and, and choose like a screenshot if you have a screenshot of a problem. And that is the Manage Comics demo. Mm -hmm.